I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see a man on his eighth NFL team, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and the Miami Dolphins as they'll square off against Tom Brady and the Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots. With that, let's get up to snowy Foxborough on the call at Gillette Stadium. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Good luck, gentlemen. Coach, the entire New England area absolutely socked in by a slow-moving snowstorm, and because of it, we have a winter wonderland here at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Miami Dolphins. Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis, and we got an AFC matchup, CD, and that begs a question. Can anyone threaten New England in this division? Because they've had a stranglehold on this division for the past two decades. I like the way you describe that. Whatever hold it is, stranglehold, figure four, you name it, they've got it. But I do know this. Young quarterbacks in this division, they're going to have to jump their play up. Will Sam Darnold take the next step after a promising rookie season? We'll start to find out right here, right now. This is taken at the three. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. New England Patriots offense coming out here. There's Tom Brady, who has... Well, you want, I don't know if you want to say struggled, but he hasn't been himself during this stretch here where the Patriots' offense really hasn't looked right. This past game in the loss to Kansas City in Week 14, just 50% throwing it, 169 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Now here, Charles, look at this number. Passer rating is 63.3, and that's now eight straight games with a passer rating under 100. First time in Brady's career that he's had a stretch like that. By the standard that he set in his career, he is struggling. Yeah, There's no is. getting past it, right? I mean, we've we, people have tried to explain it away. Are the receivers getting open? What's happening with the running game? Bottom line is, no matter who's playing quarterback, those types of numbers tell you that there's a struggle going on. But how about the potential changing of the guard in the AFC? It's not there yet. Don't ever think that you're going to count out Tom Brady and the Patriots. But so far, this season, the three losses, 22-year-old Lamar Jackson in Baltimore, 24-year-old Deshaun Watson in Houston, and now 24-year-old Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City. Mm. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Hey, 66. From the gun, it's Brady. And that is incomplete. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. The Patriots send out their punter. Back deep is Marcus Sherrills. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. on first down and nowhere to fit that football in it's knocked away and incomplete the veteran Stephon Gilmore able to break that one up 
And here now a look at the Dolphins' offensive unit. So let's all work together on this one because it's natural to just watch the football. But I want all of us to watch the center of this offensive line, the center and the two guards. They've got to be able to control the point of attack, and they didn't do such a good job on that last play. Plenty of opportunities to redeem themselves. They'll have to take advantage of that and start to make progress. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, third down here. And quickly, let's check out the New England defense. You have to love Jamie Collins. You can use him just about anywhere on the defense. Inside linebacker, outside linebacker, defensive end. He might even play a little bit of safety if you give him the chance. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing Fitzpatrick. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. On fourth down, Matt Hawk is on to punt. Fights him off. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Patriots take over. Patriots coming out to set up shop for their next drive CD. When we were talking about him earlier, we didn't mention that that loss against Kansas City in Week 14 snapped a 21-game home winning streak, including the playoffs. But the Chiefs got the seven-point victory. Now, New England right now is still the number two seed despite that loss. But their last five games, just two and three. Yeah, they're not officially in the playoffs yet. One more win will get it done. I think that that's going to happen. It always does with New England. We're still waiting to see if they win another division title. They're being pressed by Buffalo this year. But after this last game, this loss to Kansas City, they are officially on to Cincinnati. <laughs> Remember the famous press conference yeah. after that loss to Kansas City, believe it or yeah. not, a number of years ago? They're on to Cincinnati. They'll take on the Bengals next week. Then they're home against Buffalo. That could be huge. Yes. And finish off with the Dolphins coming to Foxborough. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's no shortage of great young runners in the NFL, but don't forget about that guy, Sony Michelle. First round pick in 2018, almost hit 1,000 yards as a rookie, 931 to be exact, to go along with six scores for the former Georgia Bulldog. They'll run with a former Super Bowl hero. It's James White. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Now let's give you a look here at the New England offense. So Michelle was taken near the end of the first round in the 2018 draft, but boy, did he earn his keep in that season with New England. Really came out in the playoffs, scored the only touchdown in the Super Bowl win over the Rams. Expect bigger and better from Sonny Michelle moving forward. On second down, Michelle. And an alley to run. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. That's a very nice game there. Confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 45-yard line. On the ground, this is Michelle. 
And a tackle there will go to Charles Harris. And a look at the starters for the Miami defense. Eric Rowe fits the profile of the so-called new breed of cornerback in the NFL. A college safety with length. He transitions very well to the corner in the league. It's Brady. And it's hauled in by Ben Watson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. Nice play call. A little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Here's Brady. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. The completion good for three and it's second down. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver. And Edelman's one of the best in the game. He knows how to go inside with one of my college coaches used to call the Briar Patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people after the catch. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Brady now to throw. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the left hash, this from 39. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Miami Dolphins, they get the football here. You know, Charles, give them credit because they're still putting forth a lot of effort week in and week out. If you're looking at what they've done in the regular season, just three and 10, almost got a victory against the New York Jets in week 14, but the Jets had a field goal at the end. By the way, speaking of field goals, <laughs> they got all 21 points in that game from their kicker, Jason Sanders. Which tells you exactly why they lost. Because typically kicking field goals in the NFL, even a lot of them, just put you in a position to get beat, not necessarily win a game. That's exactly what happened with the Jets coming off the pace late and beating them, ironically enough, by a field goal. But I love the way that this Dolphins team continues to fight and scrap and try to win games. Everyone thought they were just going to kind of let this season go. Not at all. Big credit to Brian Flores, the head coach, the rest of the staff, and a big credit to the players as well for embracing the challenge. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Big 
Did the Wait, there it is! Watch the slip! Watch the slip! Check nine, check nine! On second down now. Laird trying to run inside, but nothing there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. I would think as a play caller, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. Fitzpatrick from the gun on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Taken in at the 22. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Tom Brady and the Super Bowl champs ready for their next possession. First and ten. Get that quarterback, D-Line. Get that quarterback, D-Line. They begin with Michelle on the ground. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. On play action, now Brady. He finds Dorsett, it's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. But we know Dorsett can make those plays with that top-end speed. You think back to the combine five years ago when he ran a 4-3-3. And now in his third season in New England after two in Indianapolis. But only 290 yards last year. Patriots want to utilize him more. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Let's go! To throw again, Brady. Complete to Watson, the tight end. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Terry, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. A gain of six there on first. 
Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Brady to throw again. And this one brought in by Sanu. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Mohamed Sanu is a guy that is often overlooked because he just quietly goes about his business. But how about last season? Had a career-high 838 yards on 66 catches, and he can also play Wildcat quarterback for you as well. Brady now, 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? On second down, Michelle. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Really nice pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and short. And you figure, let's go ahead and run it again. But boy, that outcome leaves you in a difficult third down, doesn't it? Didn't stand a chance from the start. You could tell they were going in the wrong direction. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. 55 is my 55. Throwing is Brady on third down. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3 0 our score. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. After the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They've had it twice. They've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? First down, Fitzpatrick. He's gonna find his running back, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down.
Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. Caught, it's Wilson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. To the air again, Fitzpatrick. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots D on third down. Again, it's Fitzpatrick. They're able to locate Wilson. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Right there. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Fitzpatrick completes it to Hearns. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. They'll throw again, Fitzpatrick. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Parker unable to get that one, and now it's third down. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Fitzpatrick again. And that's intercepted. It's the all-pro corner, Stephon Gilmore. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. He's at the 50, the 30, 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Third down, passing down. They throw the extra defensive back in there for a nickel package, and it worked out. And it's not anything that you would think is just great strategy. It's just that when you have five defensive backs on the field and an obvious passing down, it's a lot tougher to complete a pass. And on that play, they completed it just to the wrong team, and it cost them six points. Nick Folk for the point after. And he's got it to make it now 13 to nothing. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. The snow certainly making conditions difficult and is not likely to get better anytime soon as we turn it right back over to Brandon and Charles. All 
All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This snow front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Lawrence Guy just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Fitzpatrick now. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Call it a gain of three, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. That's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he's on to punt for Miami. This is taken at the 23. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now Brady. It's complete. James White. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Well, James White, you know that he can catch the football. He was third in the NFL amongst running backs last year with 87 catches. And as we've seen, sometimes they come in bunches. Super Bowl 51, he had 14 grabs, including the winning score. Last year in the divisional round versus the Chargers, 15 receptions for White. To throw again on second down, Brady. 
Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Taco Charlton in there to get him. It's a loss of five. So they come out of the locker room trailing, but plays like that, they won't be trailing much longer. Defense really starting out well this second half. Yeah, they knew they had to jumpstart things a little bit. They really struggled in the first half trying to slow them down, but now they had a plan, made that adjustment that we always talk about, and it worked very well on that play. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. And that's complete. It's Watson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Second tour of duty for Watson with the Patriots. Remember, New England drafted him way back in 2004 out of Northwestern. He retired in the offseason after finishing the campaign with New Orleans, but decided to come back for one more go around with the Patriots. And they might need him, especially with Rob Gronkowski no longer in uniform. First down, here's White. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. the handoff. Now Brady. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 40. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target hey, hey, hey. for a really nice Fifth game. Plant. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami hey. territory, right at the 40. Now a carry for White. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll be a second and long. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. On play action, it's Brady. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 26. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Brady's got his guys first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. From the gun, it's Brady. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling.
Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Operating from the gun. Brady, and he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. From ten yards out, and the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. So now Brady and the Patriots going for two. Now Brady again to the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite, but in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Wait, wait, wait. Fitzpatrick on first down. And down he goes. Fitzpatrick sacked. That's how we do it, baby. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be a tough third and 18. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Jonathan Jones that time, the one who got a hand in, knocked it away. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Here's Matt Hawk now, standing just outside his own goal line. That's taken on the 25. 
12 yards on the return that time. And out will come the offense as they take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. With this lead and the football, things obviously looking good, but maybe... Yeah, you've taught me this before. Maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them. Protect them. Take care of the ball. Move it downfield. Run the clock down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Wait, that wide, 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hit. They hit. Again, it's Michelle. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Third and seven. New England on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Brady deferring to White on the draw. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Fitzpatrick now to throw on first down. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Looking to throw on second down. Fitzpatrick got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. They're giving those short little routes, tackled him in bounds too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes. But now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. Fitzpatrick from the gun on third down. And it's caught by Parker. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. 
from the gun. Fitzpatrick. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Fitzpatrick throwing complete. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On third and one, here's Fitzpatrick. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 39. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first and 10, Fitzpatrick. On the right side open is Gasicki. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow. A six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it, it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. To throw is Fitzpatrick. Incomplete. Albert Wilson, the intended receiver there. And it's third and five. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. On third down, Laird. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. This one winding toward a conclusion, and how would you assess how the secondary is played? Well, we just saw them take another shot downfield that was incomplete, correct? Correct. So my assessment is that if anyone's played really well in this game, it's been the secondary. That was the latest example. Yeah, they've been solid, really. The whole defense has been... He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. I remember throughout my career here on defensive coach to always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. So now after the sack, third and long, and Fitzpatrick and company a little work to do. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. I guess at this point, Charles, heck, why not take some shots? I would agree with that totally, because a big play can't hurt at all. Heck, you might get a pass interference call out of it. Somehow the ball might get tipped up and you come down with it. Might not do too much for the result of the game, but it could add to your stats. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and run for it. 
And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on down. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home. All right, and sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think about your routine stays the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game, and they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home field, and now the final stages. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back, but eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Sugar, sugar. And it's Michelle once again, and he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, you did know. Did enough, though. Did enough. But yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.